Hey everyone, it's Heather Letty from Findability University, where we empower business owners to get found online. Today we are going to look at Googling yourself, or also called ego surfing. <laughs> However you want to say it, you want to go to google.com and you want to put your name in there or your company name. What shows up here can make or break the perfect client, the best job of your life, or maybe even your future partner. So let's take a look and see what do we see in search results and how can we really affect what they see here. So when you Google your name or your business name, depending upon how you want to be found, it is very important that you think about these search results as ads. They are not resumes. No one cares about how long you've been in business or what your mission statement is. And if your title says home right at the very top, then if you're not a home builder or a home designer, it's probably not going to be terribly helpful for you to have home there. So let me take a look at what we're talking about. So when you come to Google, you're going to want to Google your name. So I Google Heather Lutze. Now, here's the weird thing about the word Heather Lutze is that there's also a Heather Lutz, and she is a reality television star. So what I did is way early in my career, I bought HeatherLutz.com without the E, and it points to HeatherLutze.com, the correct spelling. Now, she's come back to me a couple of times wanting that domain, but I'm not letting it go. Maybe she gives me the right kind of offer. I don't know. But right now, I'm not letting it go. So you want to think about, you need to ego surf yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do Findability University. Now, when someone hears about me or they hear about what I do, we want to make sure that we are able to see what others see. Okay. So I'm going to do Findability University. Now, a couple things we want to keep in mind is when we Google ourselves, some of you might see what they call over here, which is the Google local listing or local pack. So you want to think about, can I optimize this to make more sense and to represent myself better as a person who is Googling my name? Is that what I want them to see? Are those the best pictures there? If you go to google.com slash business, you can actually set up an account and make this look fantastic. So we'll cover that area in another video. But right now I want to focus on, let's take a look at what people see when they Google your name. So right here, you'll see Heather Letsy Marketing Speaker, Inspire, Educate, Facilitate. So I want to make sure that this is called the title tag right here, this line right here, that's, that is underlined in blue. And I want to make sure that I have written that within the 60 characters so that I am getting a complete sentence and I'm giving them a call or a call to action. So I'm in the process of rewriting all of my titles, tags, and descriptions to include my phone number. Because at the end of the day, we're not doing this for fun. Well, maybe I have fun, but not everyone has fun doing this. Um, but I want people to call and I want them to work with me. So I want to make sure that it's very easy for them to find my phone number and it's right at the top. Then the bottom, you'll see this is called the description tag, this yellow area right here. This yellow area gives you a better, longer way to pitch your business. So I like to think of this as romancing the click. Does anyone remember that movie from the 80s, Romancing the Stone? Mm, Michael Douglas. <laughs> anyway, you want to think about how do I romance the click, right? How can I write that within 160 characters to really give a small micro pitch of my business and why they should click on my site to see more? So here's your assignment. I want you to Google yourself, but here's a little caveat to what you see is when you go to Google like this, you are in something called personalized search. And that means that it knows all of your past searching behavior. So let's clear the decks and make this an unpersonalized search result. So I'm going to come all the way over here to the far right corner of my browser and I'm going to come down to new incognito window. You see that right there? Now, Safari and Firefox and, and Internet Explorer, or as my husband calls it, or Internet Explorer, um, you're going to have a different way of getting there. So you can always go in and Google incognito mode for Safari or incognito mode for Firefox and you'll find it very easily. But for Chrome, this is what you do. So go to new incognito window. Now you'll see a little spy guy in the corner right there. That was the inspiration for my book, Marketing Espionage. And now I'm going to go back to Google again. And you'll see here that I'm at Google, but I'm in incognito. So that you're not going to see any, I'm not going to see any personalized searching based on what's already been stored on my computer. So now I'm going to do findability university. Now this is what you need to evaluate. So I want you to look at your website. If you see a local listing, I want you to evaluate that. That's google.com slash business if you don't have your business listing set up. Now I want you to go through this list. 
you'll see there's my LinkedIn account. You see my Facebook, my slide share, and you also see uh, a couple other assets that I'm perfectly fine having there. Now it knows my current IP address, so I can't really hide that because of my internet address, but you can very carefully look at what do people see here in the search results and what I call go hunting and gathering. So go to your website and edit your title tag if you don't like that, what that says. Rewrite your description tag if you don't like what that says. And think about each of these areas. So certification, SEO training, these are all title tags. So just make sure to write them so they don't dot, dot out. It's like stopping someone in mid sentence, right? You don't want that. So I'm in the process of actually launching a new website and we are rewriting all of our titles and descriptions so that they fit exactly within the character restraints. Title is 60 characters and your description tag is gonna be 180 characters. So be succinct, be creative, make sure it converts and make sure that it's the best possible way for people to find you when they already know your name. So I'm Heather Lutze with Findability University. This is a findability tip. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to comment, subscribe, or like this video, and I will continue to post great information for you to be at the top of search results for your business. Thanks, and we'll see you next call.